The death of a horse that collapsed in the middle of a New York City street last summer is reinvigorating efforts to end the Big Apple's controversial horse-drawn carriage industry. This year, animal rights activists and others want the city council to ban horse carriages completely and replace them with electric-powered ones. We want to warn you, the video that you're about to see is pretty hard to watch. These dramatic images of Ryder the horse went viral. As a result, Ryder's law was introduced by New York City Councilman Robert Holden. He recently joined me, along with Emmy Award-winning actress Edie Falco, one of the many celebrities who have joined the call to end what they see as an abusive practice. I began by asking Edie why this issue is so important to her. I'm an animal lover and advocate since I was a kid, and I have been living in this city more years than I care to mention. And, uh, <laughs> you know, being on a New York City street, you stop at a light, you hear the clop clop, and then you're pulling up next to a horse. It's just preposterous to me that this is still going on. Yeah, it's also part of New York City's history to an extent. Councilman Holden, do you have enough votes to pass Ryder's Law? Walk no. us through what's next in the process, really, or what the challenges are. Well, first we have to get a hearing. We have 18 uh, sponsors on the bill. Uh, we have 13 others that had promised to uh, co-sponsor the bill. They haven't signed on yet because of the union, the Transport Workers Union. It's a powerful union. Uh, they're saying they want to keep these uh, horses on the streets, and they don't, horses don't belong on the streets of Manhattan. Come on. This is not, uh, you know, 1823. This is uh, 2023. So let's move on. Let's get to the 21st century. New York City should be a leader. Uh, and these horses are suffering. They're suffering day in and day out. And they, if you look at where they're kept in midtown Manhattan, in the stables there, it's miserable. Miserable. They have a, uh, they're pack animals. They, they really belong in a corral to run together. They shouldn't be, uh, you know, again, nine hours a day, six days a week working on the streets of New York City. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and Edie, um, I grew up as a horseback rider, and I know I was always told because I did a lot of hacking around town, around McLean, Virginia, of all places, and my, my teachers would say, now stay off the, the blacktop. You know, it's not good for their hooves. I mean, mm. it's, it's incredibly difficult for these horses day in and day out to be, you know, in this environment that's not natural to them. Yeah. Um, but how optimistic are you that Ryder's Law will pass this year? I need to be optimistic because it is so very dear to my heart. And uh, I think we are changing as a culture. You know, there's sort of a zeitgeist uh, insofar as people recognizing what's wrong and right and how often you are judged by how you treat your most vulnerable uh, society members. And uh, I've been involved in animal rights stuff for a long time and things are very slowly but powerfully changing and I mean as far as I'm concerned this should have been years ago I was naive enough to think that when a politician said oh it's very high on my agenda we'll get it done that they actually would get it done and here I am years later still trying to move this issue forward so uh, I, I continue to be because I have to be very optimistic that this will move forward yeah, and Councilman, there's also the concerns just even about Ryder's owner, you know, who was found guilty in uh, New York City Department of Health case after, I guess, there were falsified veterinary records. Um, there was misinformation about the horse's actual age uh, in order to get the license. I mean, are there any safeguards that can be put in place as you fight to pass Ryder's law? There are safeguards, however, in this case, by falsifying the records. He said that Ryder, the owner, was 12 or 13 years old. He turned out to be 28 to 30 years old. Horses only live uh, 30 years at the most. So this horse was equivalent to a 90-year-old human pulling thousands of pounds daily, six days a week, until the horse literally dropped. This is horrible, horrible ways to treat such beautiful animals. We should not be doing this in New York City. And uh, just the fact that there's no oversight. The Department of Health is overwhelmed with COVID, obviously. They couldn't yeah. really do anything. And NYPD really dropped the ball on this, too. So we need oversight, but we need the horses off the streets. 
These are beautiful yeah. animals. We reached out to the Transport Workers Union Local 100, which represents the carriage drivers, and these are their jobs that are on the line. The union has maintained that Ryder's death was an isolated incident, and they had this to say about Ryder's law. They say the bill itself operates on the assumption that the city is management. The bill would have the city own the proposed electric carriages and then lease them to the carriage medallion owners. The carriage medallion owners are told in the legislation what kinds of wages they would have to pay their employees and what benefits they must offer. They would force owners to have employees and force independent contractors to become wage laborers. Councilman, what's your response to these concerns? It's ridiculous. First of all, the Transport Workers Union. Ever hear of a union representing management? They represent the horse owners. Who <laughs> is that's management? It's ridiculous. And the the drivers of the horses are independent contractors. Meaning they don't get prevailing wage. They don't get health care coverage. With my bill, they will. And let's let's mm. get this uh, you know going. And so anything the Transport Workers Union is saying, uh, and they're holding up. They're holding the horse horses hostage. Period. And they're lying too. And Edie, I'll just read the New York City mayor's uh, statement. Uh, the office has been integral to trying to resolve this debate. We reached out to Mayor Eric Adams about the bill and we're told this, quote, we are reviewing the legislation on the proposed ban of horse-drawn carriages. So uh, not a bold statement uh, no. on one way or the other, <laughs> no, but you're no. gonna keep pushing. Absolutely, till it's done. All right, Edie Falco and Councilman Robert Holden, thank you both. And to